We are relaxing in the back of the 2021 Volkswagen Atlas. This one in particular is a $46,000 Volkswagen. Wow. And today I'm gonna tell you if it's worth it. If you have a dog, a large, extra large dog breed, the rear is often a really key selling point when it comes to a vehicle. And in here, I actually think this has one of the better rears. Let me explain why. It's so flat, wide, open. You have storage on the sides, underneath the floor. And because the roof isn't that sloped, it also feels nice and tall, which means you could easily fit a big crate back here. And even though this isn't a massively tall SUV, it's still high. You're gonna need to help your dogs get in and out. That is, unless they have mega long legs. I also like when the second row is up, you can still see your dog in the back if they were to sit up. And when you actually fold this down, look at how flat it goes. Because it's a more slim profile, it goes flush with the rear space, which is a huge plus, creates a large, flat, open surface. And because it's not as bolstered, personally, I don't think it's as comfortable as let's say the Toyota Highlander. And with that said, it's also kind of heavy to move. They do slide back and forth, but let's say you were gonna go into the third row. When you tilt it forward and then try to push it back while sitting in that third row, it's definitely kind of heavy. Ugh. Especially this side, it's bigger. This is a 60-40 split back here. Now for $695, you can get captain's chairs. Captain's chairs as an option, which I think is a total must, especially when you have dogs. It helps them see forward. It makes it feel a lot more spacious on the interior. Also, easier to manipulate by far. Although it still feels very spacious in here. You have the beautiful panoramic moonroof, lots of natural lighting paired with the light color interior. And come on, the floor space, there is so much leg room. Whether your dog sits down here, you pack it out with bags, you still will have plenty of room for your legs. Ventilation. Now, when it comes to airflow in this Atlas, get excited. You have vents here, vents on the side pillars, which is truly fantastic for dogs. But what's even more impressive is the airflow that pumps through the floor because you can actually feel it. And I'm telling you, in the summer months when you have a dog, that is going to be so critical. Your pet can be super comfortable while you have your own temperatures up front. And it's pretty easy to adjust up front. Now you don't really have a rear button, but everything you can do via touchscreen with a beautiful representation of the airflow and the space. And one thing about these seats, it's definitely more of a leatherette material, which is a huge positive when you have pets or kids because it's a lot more durable. You're not gonna worry about soft leather getting punctured, scratched, and overall, it just cleans a lot better. As a matter of fact, when it comes to interior material choices, I think VW really nailed it. Yes, there is a lot of plastic, which is a huge plus for families and pet lovers. And you might think it would look cheap, but it really doesn't because the edges are soft. They're not sharp. Even in the door handles, it goes all the way through extremely smooth plastic. And you might think overall interior design looks a little plain, but honestly, I'm going with the clean theme. It's just really clean. The infotainment screen, not overly cluttered. Everything is proportioned nicely. Plus you have your digital cockpit. You can customize it, have it set to all different things, kind of like we saw in the Audi. But at the end of the day, I mostly use Apple CarPlay. Android Auto, it has both. It also has two ports, they both work, and there is a wireless charger, so that is also very convenient. But what really surprised me about the Atlas is when I took this for a drive. Because it doesn't feel like I'm driving a big vehicle. It feels a lot smaller than it is, more like a CUV, which is great. And if the audio for the rest of this video sounds a tad different from the first half, I really apologize. When I was setting up my camera, my lavalier fell off my shirt. I didn't realize I stepped on it, completely broke the microphone right off. So I'm using a Rode mic on top of my camera, but it is a bit further away than I'd like. It's not right here on my shirt. So hopefully the audio isn't so bad. This has a 3.6 liter V6 engine, 276 horsepower, 
265 pound-feet of torque and I feel like it's matched appropriately. Realistically, you're not gonna be gunning this thing, trying to be the fastest one on the road. But more importantly, if you do have to pull out real quick, it's not that slow and it performs. I've driven this on back roads, around bends. You don't feel like you're gonna roll or topple. It feels very stable, planted, which makes you feel more confident when driving and ultimately, more comfortable. The 4 Motion with active control, it uses sensors and smart software to direct traction to where it's most needed. The button down here, when you select on road and then actually push mode, you have the option between eco, normal, sport, and custom. But when you turn it, you have snow mode, off road, off road custom. When it comes to safety, it's loaded with everything you'd want in here, along with park assist in this trim level. And if you happen to see our prior Atlas video, you'll know that it works because I did it blindfolded. And driving this at night is a delight. Visibility is fantastic. Those LED lights are absolutely phenomenal and they look so good. In fact, to be honest, I think this Atlas is probably on the top when it comes to exterior styling. Now I know that is more subjective, a personal opinion, but really start to think about the competition. Kia Telluride Hyundai Palisade. Yeah, you're good looking, but not as good as this. Ford Explorer, I mean, I don't know, we haven't had one yet, but I see plenty of them on the road. They're all right, they're nice. Honda Pilot, all right, you know I love a Honda, but eh, that ain't working out. Toyota Highlander, probably one of the best vehicles on the road today. Exterior looks, it's okay, it's not my favorite. This, come on people, this is good and happens to be a little extra special because this has the R-Line badging and bumper. Oh yeah. But arguably, what's more important than looks? Perhaps comfort. And when it comes to Andy, I'm telling you, she is so comfortable back there. And partially because, yes, ventilation, but the floor is not super high, so she's positioned lower, which makes her feel that much more safe and secure. Abby, on the other hand, is loving these seats because they are nice and wide. They're actually a little bit too wide for someone of my height because they jut into the back of my knees. I know that that would be a huge plus for tall people, but if you got shorter legs like me, just keep that in mind. It may not be the best fit. Is it totally a deal breaker? No, but you know, it's just things like that that I think manufacturers don't always think of. They think, oh, let's just put a big, big old seat up in here. But unfortunately, a lot of people who end up driving this have short legs. And aside from the seat, there's really only a few other things that I found slightly inconvenient about this Atlas. One is the camera. It's clear, but it's just the rear. For this price point, you gotta have a top-down, bird's-eye view, and a dedicated camera button would be lovely. The steering wheel. It's very precise, but it's light. Now I know a lot of people shopping for this vehicle will love that. I just personally prefer the steering to have a bit more feedback. However, I will say the perforation does feel quite lovely. And this is heated. It also would be nice to have a pop down mirror so you could just gaze up real quick rather than actually have to turn around to see what's going on back there. And when you're closing that rear, it would be nice if there was a lock and walk away feature. That way you don't have to fiddle with your keys. But just so you know, you can also access this via smartphone. So that's it. My list of inconveniences is quite small because this Atlas truly fits my lifestyle quite great. All I need is to add the Muddy Buddy mats and upgrade to captain's chairs and I would be set. And I think Andy and Abby would totally agree. So, uh, Andy, I got a question for you. Is the 2021 Atlas lab approved? Of course, it is totally lab approved. This really is a perfect vehicle when it comes to pets, more so than the two row Atlas Crossport. And if you watch that video, you'll learn why. Thanks so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitch, Yep, and subscribe to this channel, and we will see you next time. Bye!